Hey, what's up YouTube? Today is August 11, 2015. I'm here on the Schuylkill River. The title is Schuylkill River close to the South Street Bridge. That's the South Street Bridge right there. I'm going to be attempting for <clears throat> catfish tonight. It's almost sunset. It's about 7.30 p.m. right now. And uh, it is funny because <laughs> as I'm walking this place, it reminds me that this is the place where I first made a video with this GoPro, the GoPro 3. Uh, I will leave the hyperlink inside the info button there. <coughs> Excuse me. It was the first day of spring and uh, <clears throat> believe it or not, this year, the first day of spring, man, was snowing pretty bad. But anyways, I'm attempting catfishing tonight here on the Schuylkill River. Uh, we had periods of heavy rain today, so the current on the river is a little bit higher than normal. There is this website here in the Philadelphia area called the uh, Philly Rivercast. And, you know, you can access that website and actually check the current of the Schuylkill River. For the past couple days, the current of the river was about 500 CFS. CFS stands for cubic feet per second. And that's a, that's a unit of, uh, for current, water current. And, you know, that means the river was really, really stagnating, okay? The river was pretty much dead. So today, after the rain, the river is still pretty much dead, but now we are at 1,500 CFS. So, you know, at least the current increased by 1,000, which is a good thing for us. Okay, after all, you know, increasing current triggers feeding, sp feeding spring fish, right? So there you go. I got to give you a view of the river. This is the spot where I will be fishing at. I don't know if you guys can see or not. Probably yes. <sighs> All the stuff is flowing towards the Fairmount Dam right now, up river. And of course, that's because you know it's going from low tide to high tide right now. So yeah, there we go. We have a current of about 1,500 CFS, which is a good thing. Of course, I would prefer if the current you know, the current to be between 2,000 and 5,000 CFS, that would be much, much better for me. That would mean that this river here would be extremely muddy, which is not the case right now. And uh, to tell you guys the truth, you can't really witness the, the proper, I will call it the proper current of the river, because, you know, when the website says a certain number of CFS, the current is supposed to be flowing downstream right but since the tide is going up at the moment the current of the tide coming up is going against the current of the water that flows down from the fairmount dam right so that's uh you know that's like a subtraction instead of an addition of current so you know you if you guys you guys have to be very pictorial now in a sense that you guys have to understand that if the tide was going from high to low then this would be much much faster right now and the fact that the river is flowing pretty fast this way means that the river is still stagnating even after the rev heavy period of rain. All right, enough talk for now. Let me set up my rods and uh, we will see what I can catch. Hopefully some nice channel catfish to show you guys. All right, fellas, I'm finishing up my first setup at the moment. Let me show you guys what I'm gonna be using for bait today so there you go this is my uh, sacred bait for today rainbow trout <laughs> it's actually stocked rainbow trout from the spring season you know I run out on American eel otherwise I would be using American eel so I'm gonna be using cut rainbow trout there go I gotta cut the tail off so the fish you know can get back can get to the hook a little bit better let me hook this thing up here all right circle hook a 7-0 gamakatsu octopus there we go hook through the scheme so the bait doesn't fall I'm using today I actually got my wrong rod so I'm using a Daiwa Samurai median action with a Daiwa Samurai 
heavy action spin reel. Okay, I'm using 50 pounds Power Pro, Power Pro braided line with a three ounce egg sinker, snap swivel, and a snailed hook, 7-0 Gamakatsu. All right. Someone actually just asked me today, you know, how exactly I keep my bait all the way down. Well, here's your answer. I use this lip sinker setup. Okay, it's pretty deep over here. There we go, it's all the way down now. Not snagged, which is good. I am expecting a lot of snags tonight, especially because I will be fishing nighttime and there are a lot of American eel here at nighttime. But also, you know, since we have some current and I'm very close to these pieces of structure, I am kind of expecting flathead catfish to hit as well. So, you know, some channel catfish, some flathead catfish, whatever. I'll be happy with any type of catfish. All right, time to set up my second rod. I'll be back if I catch some fish. All right, fellas, I'm finally done with my second setup. Let me show you what I'm using. I'm using the, actually the same setup as always. I'm using a Cortland Endurance knife feet noodle rod with a Shimano Symmetry 4000 FL, eight pounds Berkeley Vanish fluorocarbon. And then I'm using this that you guys should be already well acquainted with. It's a high-low rig, all right, with two fishing hooks and a pyramid sinker, two ounces. Pretty much, I'm gonna be casting this very close to the wall since the current is a little bit faster than usual. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna drop it. Yeah, that sounds like a lovely idea. It is very deep here. This is one of the deepest places on the Schuylkill River go not snagged that is great okay we leave a little bit more line there we go good to go now we just wait for the fish to bite perfect now we just need some action I'll be back when I catch some fish hopefully you know you is even better you can chop it up as bait That was nagged, man. Oh, there we go. Bait on, man. Yeah, hell yeah. First fish of the day. American eel. Which means I got bait. It's gonna be freshly chopped for the fish tonight, man. I messed up my whole rig too. But there we go, guys. American eel is my bait for tonight. Time to chop it up. All right, time to get a read of this chunk of rainbow trout. There we go. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. There we go. And it's time to put our favorite bait here for the Schuylkill River. A live eel head. And I tell you what, folks, this eel head is really live. All right, look. Mouth is still open and everything. A little bit, even though it's being chopped off, but it's still moving. You see that? And that is not post-death kind of thing. What I did is that I chopped the zeal below its heart. So, I mean, the heart is still attached to the head. That's why the eel is still moving. And that's how I like it. That's how I like it for my catfish. I like it to be alive. Of course, the head itself doesn't have a lot of life left. The heart is going to still... You know, be like that, only for a little bit left, and then, you know, it's just gonna die. But hey, those few extra minutes can maybe bring me a big fish. You never know. Plus, that's like a huge piece of eel that I put there. This one is, is going to be like my trophy, my trophy fish rod. For the rest of the night, the eel head, that's what it is going to be there. We'll see how it goes. Finally, we're talking. What the fuck's going on here? Come on, come on, come on! Is the fish on already or what? Yeah, yeah. 
fish on. Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> this fish is warm all the way up. Unbelievable. I had a lot of slack line on, so I was like, what is going on? And that's what happens, huh? All right. Since it's a small fish. Ah, channel caddy. <laughs> <laughs> I had so much slack line on this guy that I was like, you know, wh what exactly is going on? This fish is swam all the way up. Unbelievable. And look how greedy he was. Gotta tell you guys, this is one greedy fish right here. Alright, got my hook. Gotta take a quick photo. Uh, this is in the range of three pounds. Alright, you guys can have a nice view of the channel cat under the light. It's a range of a three pound. Holy shit. Fish on. Now I don't know how big this is, but the bite was pretty solid and feels like a channel cat. <laughs> ah boy. Oh, did I lose the fish? No, it's still on, still on. Funny because the fish beach and the rod just didn't come back. That was the funny thing about it. Oh, there we go. Another small guy. So greedy. The bait's so big and yeah, the fish is so small. All right, time to pull it up. Uh, I got 50 pounds power pro. This fish is not going anywhere. There we go. Right. Not a smaller one. Pretty small if you ask me, about two and a half pounds. <laughs> Greedy fish. I'm not even gonna take a photo of this one. There we go. All right, let's wait for the next one. All right, final update, folks. It's 10:35 right now. I started fishing around 8 p.m. Uh, you got, as you guys saw in the video, I first landed an American eel that is right here using this rod. That was like my bait rod with size six four. Uh, I'm sorry, with size four hooks. And after I landed the eel, I just chopped the eel up, and I changed the setup on both of these rods to like a heavier setup. I upgraded my bait, meaning I put bigger pieces of bait on my rods, willing to catch bigger fish. But as you guys have seen, it is being extremely slow. I've landed only two fish in two and a half hours. Okay, not to mention that I had countless nibbles, but no hookups. Probably because my hook and my bait were too big. But that is not a big deal. But yeah, I, I will call it a night right now. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be fishing the whole day. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going somewhere pretty far away. So, you know, expect to see some nicer fish for tonight. That's it. I'm calling it a day. I'm going to start uh, packing up, you know, time to go home. And, uh, you know, I really wanted to show you guys a bigger fish. But unfortunately, no five pounder channel cats, no flatheads, nothing. All right. Pretty slow. 
but hey guys if you ever want to come out here you know attempt catfishing on the Schuylkill River this is an awesome spot very very cool spot to take your fish to your kids to let me show you guys there's one guy fishing right there with his kid all right it's a, it's a beautiful place so you guys should definitely come down here all right tight lines until next video